Hello and welcome to Neil's Spanish Flybox. I hope you're all well. A couple of subscribers have asked me about uh, fishing on the river and videoing. I would love to be able to do that and as soon as I can I will do. Uh, at the moment the river is not in condition to, to fish in any of its locations after the floods. You remember I posted a couple of videos a short while ago. Now these photographs show some of the devastation and the gravel that you can see that should be on the riverbed, which means that there's going to be some deep holes to fish or to fall into, whichever of the two. So as soon as I can uh, get around to doing it, I will be videoing on the river. Another subscriber has reminded me of the spider wet fly. Now, to be fair, in Spain, this has taken very much a back seat. The Perdigon has taken over just about everything, but I still have them in my fly box. And I enjoy fishing the, the wet fly spider, and it's great fun. Now, this particular fly that I have in the vise is a uh, Spanish needle fly, and its links with Spain are very tenuous indeed. Um, there is a flower called a, a Spanish needle, and uh, it's a weed actually. Yeah, it's a white flower with a yellow center. But when it dries, the seed pods release tiny seeds and they have barbs on, a bit like a, a hook. Uh, that's one version. The other version, which I, I quite like, is as you know, spiders were invented a couple of hundred years ago for fishing the, the rivers in north of England. And at the time, the uh, sewing needles that were imported were imported from Spain and they were of a bluish steel. And coincidentally, uh, the hooks that were being used at that time were also of a blued steel. And so this fly was called the Spanish needle fly. That's the story that I like uh, and I'll go with that one. But I'm not tying a Spanish needle fly today. I'm going to tie another spider and it's a, a spider that can be used all year round, although it's uh, perfect for this present moment in time. And it's a black spider or my version thereof. And the materials that I'm going to be using are uh, black thread, this is 6 0. Uh, black hen cape, uh, this is a dyed barred hen. I hope you can see the barring on the feathers. And a butt of mother of pearl, flashy boo mother of pearl. Right, I have in the vise a size 14 hook, which is very typical of a, of a spider. I'm going to tie that in just a couple of mil behind the eye to give me room to wind in the, the feather and build the head. Right, I'll just take a, a piece of this mother of pearl. And trim off that and tie it in. As you can see, it's quite fine. And wind it down to just about where the point is. And I'm going to trim that off. All right, I'm now going to wind on this mother of pearl as a butt. It's just a little bit of something extra to catch the eye of the fish when the fly is going down the river. Hopefully it will attract the fish just a little bit more than the straight black. Yeah, and I'll tie that off. And trim it up. And build up the 
body. I'll try and get these turns together so as not to get a space or an overlap. Uh, the overlap seems to be coming without me even trying. And I'm just going to check to see that there's nothing showing. Seems to be okay. Right now I'm going to use this uh, black hen cape, uh, this feather. Now um, to pull the feather or the fibers back I'm just going to Put that into the top, pull those fibres back and trim it off. Just so we've got something to tie into. Like that. And trim up those fibres. Now it's generally accepted that uh, you wouldn't need more than two turns for the fiber uh, for the feather. So I'm just going to just dampen those and pull them back. So hopefully we get them all going in the same way. You can make your fibers as dense or as loose as you wish. Now that is two turns. I'm going to tie that in. And trim that off. Let's wind that down. Now if you do get a, a feather that's um, thick or dense or you think it's too dense, Go through the same process of pulling them back and then just take off one side and tie in the one side and hopefully that will give you the density that you require. Uh, uh, you can tie these in just about any colour and they're fairly simple to tie. There's an olive, there's a, a black, there's a partridge, an orange, uh, there's a... Um, What's that one? Well, there's a claret. So, you know, really you can tie them in whatever you want to. Right, I'm just going to build up the head a little bit. And tie that off. And trim up. I'm just going to put a little bit of uh, UV on there just to build up a give it a nice shiny little head. Don't need a lot. I've got a lot of loose fibre there. I'll trim that up in just a moment. Just pull those forward. As I said, you, you can make your spiders as dense or as as light as you wish. And there you go, the fly is finished. They're very, very simple to tie, but they can be very effective. And I, I think it's a great deal of fun uh, fishing the spider. And uh, if you haven't uh, ever fished the spider, give it a go, because I think it's really worth it. Now, if you haven't uh, already subscribed, uh, please consider doing so and uh, give it a thumbs up. Make a comment if you wish to in the comment section and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.